From developing high-level quantum computers to keeping qubits stable at room temperature, today, we'll take a look at some of the most amazing quantum breakthroughs in 2021. Our first amazing discovery comes from the Division of Physics at the University of Tsukuba, Japan, which carried out a quantum effect known as spin locking. The purpose of this project was to improve resolution when carrying out radio frequency imaging of nitrogen vacancy defects in diamonds. The objective of the project was to lead to greater analysis of material structures, as well as the creation of quantum computers that could be more practical in today's world. In fact, in the past decade alone, nitrogen vacancy has been studied to analyze its potential use in the field of quantum computing. Ideally, a nitrogen vacancy center is a typical defect of the lattice of a diamond that creates an environment where two similar carbon atoms are replaced with a nitrogen atom and also creates a void. This then leaves an unpaired electron that can be studied further using radio frequency waves. Why? Because the chances of this electron emitting a photon are highly dependent on its spin state. Before this experiment, there was no clear way of of altering the spatial resolution of radio wave detection through the use of conventional radio frequency techniques. But now, researchers from the University of Tsukuba have increased the resolution to maximum by employing a special technique known as spin locking. In this technique, microwave pulses are used to put the electron's spin in quantum superposition up and down at the same time. Also, a driving electromagnetic field causes the electron to spin. In the end, we end up with an electron spin that is shielded from random noise, but strongly attached to the detection equipment. Spin locking results in higher accuracy and sensitivity of electromagnetic field imaging. According to the lead researcher of the study, Professor Shintaro Nomura, the collective signal produced can now be easily picked up due to the high density of nitrogen vacancy centers in the diamond samples used. This allows the sensing of nitrogen vacancy centers on a micrometer scale. This amazing discovery could find application in a number of areas, including polymers, polar molecules, as well as the characterization of materials. It could also be used in medical applications as a new method of performing magnetocardiography, which is a method of measuring the magnetic field of the heart. Crazy, right? Another amazing quantum discovery that's taken the scientific world by storm is on portable quantum devices. Researchers have managed to develop a new, high-flux and compact cold atom source with lesser power consumption that could be essential in the evolution of quantum portable devices. In fact, the use of quantum technologies based on laser-cooled atoms has already brought about the development of atomic clocks which are vital for timekeeping. These clocks are known as precise clocks and have several applications in the synchronization of electronic communications and navigation systems such as GPS. Compact atomic clocks that can be deployed on a greater scale, perhaps all the way to space, will provide more rigidity in communication networks because they can maintain accurate timekeeping even in the event of a network disruption. According to a paper published in the optical security journal Optic Express, this new device will be applicable across a wide range of cold atom technologies. Apart from timekeeping purposes, the compact cold atom device could be used for inertial navigation, gravity mapping, and the study of physical phenomena in research applications such as gravitational waves and dark matter. Although it might seem like the polar opposite of what you would expect, laser light can also be used to cool atoms in extremely low temperatures by exerting a force that slows down these atoms. This process is then used to create a cold atom source that generates a beam of laser-cooled atoms on a region where precision measurements for timekeeping or detecting gravitational waves are carried out. Laser cooling normally requires a complicated arrangement of mirrors to shine light onto atoms in a vacuum from varying directions. In this new project, the researchers created a completely different design which took advantage of all four mirrors. These mirrors were arranged in a pyramid-like structure which allows them to slide past each other similar to the petals of a flower. This was done to create a hole at the very top of the pyramid from where the cold atoms are pushed out. The size of this hole can be adjusted to optimize the flow of cold atoms for a number of applications. The pyramid arrangement reflects the light from a single incoming laser beam that enters the vacuum chamber through a single viewport which simplifies the optics. The mirrors, which are located inside the vacuum region of the cold atom source, are created by polishing metal and applying a dielectric coating. To experiment with the new cold atom source design, the researchers constructed laboratory equipment to fully realize the move of atoms emitted through a hole at the top of the pyramid. The experiment showed an exceptionally high flow of rubidium atoms, and most of these cold atom devices took measurements that enhanced the number of atoms used. Sources with a higher flow could therefore be used to improve measurement accuracy, boost the signal-to-noise ratio, and further achieve larger measurement bandwidths. The researchers believe that the new source is suitable for commercial application because it consists of a small number of components and a couple of assembly steps, ramping up production to release multiple copies that are more straightforward. Another amazing quantum breakthrough actually comes from the Harvard-MIT Center for Ultra-Cold Atoms. The university has manufactured a special kind of quantum computer known as a programmable quantum simulator, 
that has the ability to operate with 256 quantum bits, also known as qubits. This system marks a serious step towards the manufacture of large-scale quantum machines that have the ability to highlight a number of complex quantum processes and perhaps bring about real-world breakthroughs in avenues of finance, communication technologies, and material science. These machines will also be able to overcome a series of research hurdles that are way past the capabilities of even the fastest supercomputers today. Qubits are the essential building blocks upon which quantum computers execute the source of their massive processing power. This discovery moves the quantum world to a space it has never been before. In fact, according to the lead author of the study, Saper Abadi, it is the combination of the system's unbelievable programmability and size that puts it at the forefront of the race for creating a practical quantum computer. A computer that can harness the mysterious properties of matter at extremely small scales to enhance processing power. Under the right circumstances, an increase in qubits means that the system will be able to process and store more information when compared to the classical bits upon which a standard computer runs. Presently, the simulator has enabled researchers to observe multiple exotic quantum states of matter that have never been realized experimentally before, and to be able to carry out a quantum phase transition study so accurate that it serves as the blueprint to explain how magnesium works on a quantum level. This experiment will be used as a powerful insight and can assist scientists to design new materials with increasingly unique properties. The project employed a significantly upgraded version of the platform that the researchers developed in 2017, something that was capable of getting to a size of 51 qubits. This older system managed to make researchers capture ultra-cold rubidium atoms and arrange them in a specific order, through the use of a one-dimensional array of linearly focused laser beams known as optical tweezers. This new system allows the atoms to be assembled in a two-dimensional array of optical tweezers Users. Additionally, they increased the achievable system size from 51 to 256 qubits. Through the use of these tweezers, researchers can arrange the atoms in defect-free patterns and create programmable shapes like a honeycomb, triangular patties, and squares to engineer different interactions between the qubits. The most important feature of this new platform is a device known as the Spatial Light Modulator, one that is used to shape an optical wave front to create hundreds of individually focused optical tweezer beams. These devices are somewhat similar to what is inside a computer projector to display images on a screen, but they have been adapted to become a vital component of a quantum simulator. The first loading of the atoms into the optical tweezers is random, and then researchers have to move the atoms around to arrange them into their respective geometries. The researchers then take advantage of a second set of moving optical tweezers to drag the atoms to their respective locations, which removes the initial randomness. Lasers further give the researchers total control over the positioning of the atomic qubits according to their respective quantum manipulation. And presently, the researchers are working towards enhancing the system by improving laser control over the qubits and making the system more programmable. They're also actively exploring how the system can be used for new applications, ranging from probing exotic forms of quantum matter to solving tough real-world problems that can be naturally encoded into the qubits. This project has enabled a large number of new and exciting scientific directions, which will be nowhere near the limits of what our traditional systems are able to achieve. And with that being said, we've come to the end of the video. Let us know what you think about these new quantum discoveries in 2021 in the comments section down below. Could these discoveries make quantum computing easier to understand? And as always, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and click on that notification bell to get more mind-blowing content in the tech world.